Joseph Moore is an elementary school teacher in Jackson, and he is also an author. In January, he released his debut novel entitled The Call of Jeremiah McGill, a coming-of-age novel that illustrates growing up as a black child of faith in the transformative 1970s. Joseph, how you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for being here. Well, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, you so much. You bet. I'm excited to, to learn about you and, and learn about the book. I, I told you beforehand I haven't had a chance to read the book yet. That's okay. Uh, but I'm ready to learn about it yeah. and, and, and pick up a copy here. Yeah. Uh, so you are from Cape Girardeau? Yes, sir. I'm from Cape Girardeau, Missouri, born and raised. Okay. Went to Cape Central High School after Cape Central High School, went to Southeast Missouri State University, go Red Hawks. There you go. Um, and then after graduating from Southeast Missouri State University, that's why I became an elementary music teacher for the past 10 years in um, North Elementary, Millsville, and Gordville Elementary. Schools oh, wow. Jackson. Yes. So you get to work with the, 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 the youngins, right? I get to work with the young, yeah, the youngest, yeah, the yeah. children, the babies, as there, we call them. There yes. you go. Um, and I know. Uh, we'll get into your passion, obviously, as an author, but, mm -hmm. but, but music's always been a passion for you. Yeah, um, music has always been that um, driving force for me since I was a child. Um, and that's where my love of music and teaching came from in the elementary setting. And so it's, it's crazy, it's so uh, powerful for me to give back to uh, children every day, teaching and inspiring them to become musicians or whatever they want to become in life. So it's just an awesome experience so far. That's that, I mean, you hit the nail on the head. That's the beauty when you have a passion mm -hmm. and you're able to see that through yes and, and then and then you know communicate that passion right. to you know especially young, young. children mm -hmm. exactly. that are the future of the music scene mm -hmm. or, or right. teaching or whatnot that's got to be very exciting for it's, you yes sir it's very exciting and inspiring for me every day to see them grow because if they grow I grow as a music teacher and a musician Absolutely. So when you were growing up uh, and music was such a passion, was it instruments? Was it singing? Was it a little bit of both? It was um, more singing than instrumental. Uh, I started out singing and then when I got in college and high school, I started taking more piano. But my main instrument is singing. So OK. Know. All right. And you also you lead uh, some worship services, right? Yes. Um, my church, House of Prayer, where I reached mission uh, was where I got my start from as a worship leader with uh, Apostle Joanne McCauley. And I've been doing that for maybe the past 10, 20 years of my life. Really? Uh, yeah, since I was a teenager. And it's been an awesome experience just growing in that and just developing my gift in the church setting um, in, with, with faith and uh, with Jesus with me every way, so. So uh, I've read that you are, or you were a storyteller since childhood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that really is part of the foundation for, for your book. Yeah, uh, this book, yeah, the found, yeah, you hit it on the nail. <laughs> you really did. Um, since I was a child, I love telling stories. I love listening to stories, especially in elementary settings where we used to read stories such as Number of the Stars, uh, Roll of Thunder, Him I Cry, Maniac McGee, Stepping on the Cracks, those stories we used to read all the time. Sure. Or our teachers to read them. And I always said to myself, man, I would love to write a book of that certain nature one day. I would love to, you know, author a book of that transformative setting. And here we are 20 years, some later, my first book. Yeah. So. Congratulations oh, to you. you. So tell us about the book. I know mm -hmm. um, obviously your, your life is filled with faith and, and that's part of the journey of the book mm -hmm. as well. Uh, tell us a bit about yeah. it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, this book is basically about a young boy, 11 years old, um, growing up in the 1970s. And he, his father's a pastor. His mother is a worship leader. His brother, his older brother is an organist. It seems as if everyone knows what they are called to do or what, um, what, the, what they're going to be except him. And so he's just an average 11 year old boy, loving comic books, love to hang out with his friends, always getting into mischief. And so you see the journey from his father putting that pressure on him to put away those childish things and start to kind of grow up and grow and see who you are in the Lord. And you see that transformation from beginning to the end of this book. That, those are tough questions to answer for yourself. It is. It is. Very tough. Um, is, is, is there a part of you in this book? Somewhat, yes. Yeah. But um, most of the stories came from um, when my parents um, and my, my pastor, um, they all grew up in the same church, the same house of faith since they were children. And so a lot of the stories that you see here were from there, you know, when they were growing up in the 70s. And I always found it so interesting 
that the stories that they told about their faith about how they made it through are the same things we're going through today. Sure. Yeah, the, the, the gas prices, the inflation, wars and rumors of wars, we're going through that stuff today. But it's amazing how their faith held strong back in the 70s compared to, you know, what we see now. So uh, it's, it's awesome. So is the, would the book be geared towards a, a, a younger reader or, or all ages? Uh, it, all ages will gain something from this, but my main target is with the young people, okay. uh, with the um, young young people, the young generation of this time. I just feel like they're the place where they're just, you know, going through life, sure. not knowing who they are. And I want to, you know, gear towards them and, you know, let them see, listen, you know, we, we all been through that. We all have those questions. Who am I? What am I called to do? What is my purpose Absolutely. in life? And so I hope with this book, I pray with this book, a takeaway is they would start finding who they are in life and start going geared towards that. So uh, we have about two minutes left, but mm -hmm. what, what are the mechanics of, of writing a book? <laughs> and I know, that, I know we can't explain that in two minutes, but how long did it take? Oh, when, when, wow. did, when did you decide, okay, I'm gonna start putting you know, paper to pen mm -hmm. or get, you know, get at the computer? It took a long time, <laughs> <laughs> a yeah. long time. Um, it's, it started as an idea, like you said, and then finally saying to myself, I'm gonna put this down on pen and paper, typewriter, computer, um, whatever you may um, call it or see it as. But a lot of editing, a lot of rough drafts, a lot of tears, sure. a lot of questions, a lot of, is this book supposed to be? Um, it's a lot of that stuff that goes in it, but just per per persevering through it and knowing that at the end, you're gonna have a wonderful product that people of all ages are going to gain something from. That, that's the end goal in mind, so. Yeah. I, I'm sure during the process, um, you know, you had to ask the question, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Exactly. Is this what I'm called to all be? All the time. <laughs> yeah. All the time. When I get stuck on a chapter, okay, is this it? You know, it's, just throw it away. And, and sometimes you have to take a break from, just step back and right. see the bigger picture. But at the end of the day, you know, just the process was so wonderful to go through to get what you have today. So where can we find the book? You can find the book. I do have a, a website. I'm, you know, it's a, it's a trial and error because I'm not a website person. But JeremiahMcGill.net or you can go on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, all those places you can find the book. So. Okay. And real quickly, Jeremiah McGill, that name came from where? Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Amen. Okay. So no, no, it just was a name that came to it's you. A name that came to me. Yep. Okay. Well, congratulations to thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for being here today. And uh, again, tell us where we can where we can find the book. Yes. Um, Amazon. You can find it on Amazon. You can find it on um, Barnes and Noble. You can find it on JeremiahMcGill.net. Um, and you know, you go to my email, um, jlmore at jackson.k12.mo.us. Will there be a, a sequel or will there be another book in the future? I, I hope. <laughs> I hope so, yes. All right. Well, Joseph, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. We appreciate me. it. And thank you for joining us today for Cape Chronicle. The program is a collaboration between the Department of Mass Media at South Missouri State University, the City of Cape Girardeau, and River Radio. Our executive producer is Injun Lee, and I'm Mike Rennick. Thank you for watching.